Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to host a Discord bot. There are many good free options, but the paid options often give you more flexibility. When looking for a way to host your bot for free, you can look into self-hosting, which means you can take a computer and have it always on. There are also platforms such as Heroku and Replit that allow you to host code online and have it running. In this video I'm going to show you how to host your bot on Heroku 24-7 for free. Now let's take a quick look into these options. If you host with a VPS, which is a virtual private server, it will likely be up all the time. It's easy to scale as you need more features and usually will get full root access to install anything on the machine that might be necessary. These can take some time to get set up, but it's the recommended plan if you don't mind spending a few dollars a month. Another option is self-hosting, which does not have a monthly fee as long as you've already gotten it set up, and you also will get full access to the environment since it will be your own computer, and you also will get all the storage you need. The only issue is that you'll need to have access to this computer in order to modify the code, and in case you lose power, your bot might go down temporarily. So these are some things to consider when looking into self-hosting. The third option we'll take a look at is Heroku. It allows you to host websites and bots. If you're just using a bot without a website, you can run it 24-7 on their platform for free, and you can manage it from the online dashboard. You can also have automatic deploys from GitHub set up, so you don't even have to log in to Heroku to deploy your app. You can simply make changes on GitHub, and it will be deployed. They also allow you to access logs and the terminal. In case there's errors that come up, you can see if what errors came up in the console for your bot. One of the disadvantages of Heroku is that if you create files dynamically with your bot, it will get refreshed with files from the repository every time your bot restarts. This is not a huge issue for most people though, because in case you do need to store data, you can use a free Postgres database that Heroku will provide. You can also use other web APIs to store your information online. Now let's take a look at how you host on Heroku. First I'll head to heroku.com and click sign up. I'll need to fill out this form. Now I'll just need to confirm my email. Now that I set up an account on Heroku, I'll click accept and create a new app. The app name will need to be lowercase, so I can call this tutorial bot. See if that's taken. I'll call it Jonah tutorial bot then and create app. Now you have three options for deploying your app. You can use Heroku Git which will require you to install the Heroku command line interface. And if you prefer to do that and keep your code private, I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll be using the connect to GitHub method. So I'll click connect to GitHub, and then click connect to GitHub over here. I'll search for the repository I created in the previous video. I'll click connect. And then I'll say enable automatic deploys and deploy this branch. Now you'll notice that there's an error here. That's because there are certain files that Heroku is expecting to see in the app in order to know how to run it. So I have to go back to our code and add these files. Continuing from where we left off with the code for our Discord bot, I'll need to add a few more files. The first one, it will be called a requirements.txt. This is simply a file that tells Heroku which Python packages it will need to install. In this file I put discord.py and also python.env since these are the two packages we installed. The next thing we'll need to do is add a proc file. So it's p-r-o-c-f-i-l-e and no file extension, just proc file. Over here we'll type worker in a proc file, we have a choice between choosing web or worker, depending on how we want our app to behave. If we choose worker, Heroku will allow our app to run 24-7 without causing it to sleep. If we were to make this a web app, Heroku would make our app go to sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity. So make sure to say worker, and then we will say colon, space, and python bot.py. So this will be the application to run and the name of the file. 
and we'll click save and we'll save this file. Now the third and last thing we need to add here is a runtime.txt file. The runtime.txt file is going to tell Heroku what version of Python we want to run. I'm going to use the current version of Python I have on my computer, which I can find out by saying py hyphen hyphen version. It'll tell me I'm running Python 3.9.1. So in this file, I'll type Python, all lowercase, then a hyphen, and then 3.9.1. Now I'll just add these to GitHub quickly. And you notice in my overview tab, it has a build in progress since I have automatic deploys enabled from GitHub and I just made a change on GitHub. Now you'll see that it says build succeeded. So now my changes have been deployed. It's not actually running yet because I have not configured any dynos. I'm going to refresh this page and you'll see that we have worker python bot.py as a dyno formation and then it's turned off. So we'll click on configure dynos, click on the pencil icon, turn on and click confirm. Now that we've turned on the bot, we can look at the logs by clicking more and view logs. Now you'll notice this error, none type object has no attribute strip. That's because the token was not found because our .env file is not committed to GitHub. In order to tell Heroku what our Discord token is, you'll have to go to settings and click on reveal config vars Add in a key over here, we'll say Discord token. And over here, we'll put the Discord token as the value. So I'll copy this token. And again, make sure that this token is not revealed to anyone. I will be regenerating this token again after this video. Paste the token into this field. Click Add and then you can hide your config variables. Let's check the logs. And we see we set the Discord token config variable and now the bot was restarted and now tutorial bot has connected to Discord. Now if we head over to Discord, we see that our bot tutorial bot is connected and we can send it a ping command and it will respond. If you ever want to turn the bot off, you can go to configure dynos over here and turn the switch off and the bot will be temporarily disabled. But while you have this on, your bot will be always running online. But now you may notice that with the free plan of Heroku, they only have a limited number of hours. So if you check in your account settings and go to billing, you'll see that I have 550 free dino hours remaining this month. Now 550 is probably good enough for about 20 days of hosting. If you want all 31 days in every month, you'll need about 700 to 800 hours. You'll notice if we add a credit card, you'll receive an additional 450 hours. Now this is completely free. You can add a debit card that only has $1 on it. Since if all you have is a simple Python bot, you will not get charged a single penny to have your bot running 24-7. So go over here, add a credit card, and your bot will be running 24-7 for free the entire month. Thanks for watching. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how to make more complex commands for Discord bots, including interacting with APIs, lots of things you'll find in general purpose bots, and much more. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!